if you can look out, even on the maple vines, uh, we do see um, two moths right here. This tree beside me is dotted with moths. They're on the trunk, they're on the branches, they're on the pine needles, and they're flying all around me. They're called hemlock looper moths. They hatch in the spring, and then they feed aggressively on western hemlock trees, and Stanley Park is full of those. The moths kill the trees, which can become huge safety risks to people visiting the park. We have two western hemlocks that have been infected with the uh, looper moss here. Arborist Francis Klimo says we're at the end of a four-year looper moth outbreak. Most of the damage they do happens between July and October, and the trees are already suffering after this dry summer. Here's a look at Stanley Park. Maybe you've noticed its slightly browner tree line. Obviously, we can see that there is a significant amount of western hemlocks that are declining. Uh, these moths, they, they latch onto the needles, which forms a canopy of the hemlocks, right? And they basically feed on it to an extent until we have these needles which turn brown and eventually fall off and scatter around the forest edge. Richard Hamlin with UBC Forestry says the last big outbreak was in the early 2000s. Even though it's a native uh, uh, insect and it's been here, I mean, it's still, it's still quite impactful. Even ecologists think that we're better off letting nat nature do its own thing. Uh, so these outbreaks can come every 20 years, there'd be some defoliation, other tree species are naturally going to replace them. But he says the other option is to intervene and spray insecticides. It's kind of too late to do a treatment because naturally these populations crash after about four years, uh, between three and four years, and this is the fourth year. So. Most likely, this will resorb itself, and, and next year, we won't be talking about it. A Vancouver Parks Board spokesperson tells City News that affected trees are now being looked at to see which ones need to be cut down for public safety. In Vancouver, Kier Junos, City News.